Welcome to Crypt Zone. Hi guys, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon to get notified of any further content and also to support me on Patreon. It's one dollar and uh, this link will be left in the subscription below. Welcome back to the retro hour. If you are wondering why this is not a live stream, it's because, as uh, some of you guys know, we are on load shedding and they've already changed the schedule today three times. So, because this is unpredictable and we cannot guarantee when the power will be on and off, I decided to rather make a video today of our retro hour and I'm gonna put it on and you guys can watch it at least. And then I know guaranteed that you'll see the whole video without any interruptions. I don't want to take a chance tonight and do a stream and then halfway through the stream the power goes off. So until we know that um, load shedding is totally out of the way, this is what we uh, unfortunately is going to be sitting with. So, for today in our retro hour, we have Space Invaders. Well, this is what the picture looked like on the cartridge on the front. This is an old Atari system uh, game, Space Invaders. And let's see here, what do they say about Space Invaders? Space Invaders for Atari, that was for the Atari 2600, released on 1980-0101. The publisher is Atari, the genre is a shooter. Play mode was cooperative or multiplayer because you could use two joysticks. You could control two tanks at a time. Um, let's say you. Okay, let's see what they say about the game. Space Invaders is a game in which the player controls a laser cannon by moving it horizontally across the bottom of the screen and firing at descending aliens. The aim is to defeat five rows of alien eleven aliens. Some versions feature different numbers that move horizontally back and forth across the screen and they advance towards the bottom of the screen. The player defeats an alien and earns points by shooting it with a laser cannon. As more aliens are defeated, the alien's movement and the game's music be both speed up. Let's see what this game looks like. Okay, so the first thing I can tell you about this game is that it has 112 levels of which Every 10th level, level looks exactly the same as the first 10. I don't know why they gave 112, but so on and so on. And we're going to play a couple of levels or a couple of rounds. And I'll show you the difference of the first, say, 10 levels. Okay. So this is Space Invaders. Just um, plain, straightforward. You've got aliens coming from the top to the bottom, moving left to right. And you have to destroy them before they destroy you or before they crush you. And I mean, this game entertained us a lot when we when we were kids. I mean, this <laughs> we played this for hours and hours and hours on end. So let's quickly see what the game looks like. Here goes level one. That was lucky. Yeah, baby. Now you can try and put out to take out one line. 
But then you risk a chance of having the rest of the guys crush you. And as you can see, you cannot fire a second time until you've hit a target or your laser has gone through the screen. It's all a matter of timing. Ah, oh, come on. And I'm just fucking up now. Once you get a formula that works, stick to it. <laughs> Take that. That's a waste. Good. You'll, not, you'll notice that they come down lower and lower each time. And this little fucker in the second row gives you shit. And that's the end. Three lives is all you get. <laughs> okay, let's go see uh, level two okay as you guys can see now level two the bottom defense moves level three you have your bullets falling erratically level four you've got a combination of the bullets coming down or lasers coming down and your defense moving level five is a bit more of a high speed one let's try this one There was enough difference in the game to keep you interested and to hone your skills, you know. Ah, I should have stayed still where I was. And of course, a uh, more difficult day than the previous levels. Level 6, again a combination of high speed laser drops and defenses moving. Level 7, high speed erratic laser falling. Level 8, moving. And level 9, now this is a challenge. This is interesting. You do not see the guys until you actually shoot them. And uh, only then do they appear for like a brief second. And you have to try and memorize where they were. The problem is when they speed up. And to get the last guy, when you don't see them, that's that's a challenge. That's a real challenge.
also try not to leave gaps in between them because you already can see where they are. Oh shit. He's gonna crush me. <laughs> I knew he was gonna crush me. I couldn't see him. I couldn't take a chance in seeing where he was. <laughs> okay. Level 9, same stuff. Now they're invisible and moving around. So there's not much change. It's like they've got 5 or 6 or maybe like 15 different modes. And then they just keep on uh, doing a combination of all of them. So yeah. That's it. And you have, like I said, you have a second player. If you have a second guy coming in with maybe another controller you'll have a secondary laser running at the left hand side our uh, right hand side and then you can be a co-op gameplay so see even in the 80s on Atari they were co-op player eh? anyway guys thanks for watching sorry this wasn't a live stream but unfortunately thanks to our wonderful ESCOM we couldn't take a chance on doing a live stream today but this was Space Invaders so please remember join me next time Remember to subscribe to my channel, guys, and uh, come and join me next week for another retro game. Cheers, guys.